My name is Phil. I will be explaining about the Viscount Legend Expander module. Also, I want to say a big thank you to Anthony Maplethorpe, who, as far as I know, is the only one who has videos about the Viscount Legend Expander. Because of your videos and your advice, you encourage me to buy the Legend Expander. First thing we do, we have to push drive and rotary until we come to MDE mode. Okay. We go to MD1 with these values if we want to play on one keyboard. We go to ND2 if we want to play through two keyboards. I go to CHU which is the channel upper, upper channel or the upper keyboard. I have it on two. It's on MIDI channel two. I have Casio MZX300 and here I have the MIDI channel on two. So this is going to, channel two is going to play the upper keyboard. I go to CHL which is channel lower, the lower channel, and you will see that I have it on channel 4. I have here my EMU export 61, the MIDI channel is on channel 4. I go to upper and I can change, I can set my things here. I go to lower and I can set my keyboard here. Also a slow and a fast rotary which simulates Leslie. I have that connected to the back. I have connected just this, this switch here. Now what this switch does, if I don't have anything on it at all, it goes too fast. When I press it, it goes too fast. If I put it on the slow, it toggles from slow, fast, slow, fast. So I go. First thing I did was to try the drawbars and I went like this. And I noticed that this drawbar didn't work. And of course all you expert organists know that if you have the percussion on, the third or the second, the third or the second on, the drawbar doesn't work or this is taken out of action. But if you, if you, if you, do, if you don't have it on, if it's taken off, so, it works, okay? They tell me that some organs and modules you can take this off. Reverb, rotary and drive are the top ones. Pedals, percussion and model are the middle ones. EQ down and up are the low ones. If you go to model, you will see the type and you will see you have a 30s model or a 50s model or a 70s model. Uh, AL, they call the AL1. AL2, AL3, different ones. We have seen that we have the percussion effect where you can turn on, off, you can have soft or normal, you can have it fast or slow, and you can have the second or the third harmonic. And you can plug in some organ pedals to this as well, and you can actually have or a third keyboard as well, and you can play three. Now, this also has a reverb, as you will know, it has a reverb. And also it has a drive, which emulates the 70s prog rock. The MIDI for the pedals also is a MIDI through. I also have a foot switch which alters the volume. Remember last time we went to mode, two keyboards, we put MD2, if we're playing with one keyboard we're playing with MD1. If we're going, we're going to the upper channel, the upper keyboard, and we connect the, the MIDI channel to the keyboard. We have obviously 16 or off. The same we do with the lower keyboard. We set the MIDI channel on there. We also saw the percussion. You can turn the percussion on or off, and you can have it as soft or normal, fast or slow, or the third or the second. We also set the upper keyboard. So we, we set the upper one. Put upper and lower, we can use the V1, C1, V2, C2, V3, C3. It's the pedal with the slow toggles between the slow and fast. So if we have it, if we just leave it off and we push the pedal, it goes too fast. Okay, so 
If we push the slow, it goes from slow to fast. Look at the type of reverb, we have the hole and the spring. If we look at the rotary, we have different types of rotary. They have the classic and the rock. We put the drive, we have different types. We have the classic and the rock. In the EQ, bass, mid and treble. At the moment I've got the organ on one keyboard only. There is a split point between the upper and the lower. In middle C. Let's go through a little bit of the, of the models. So the model, let's down to the 30s. <laughs> 50s. Going too fast. This is a very interesting instrument and I think it's very good. I use it in a church worship group and the advantage with this is that you don't have to buy a really expensive organ. It's made by Viscount, a very professional organ maker from Italy and instead of buying a single manual or a double manual organ you're buying this, which you can connect with MIDI. As you can see, it sounds really good. Also, you have other alternatives from this. You have the Kruma Mojo, and also you have the Ferro Fish 4000. The thing is, I was recommended this. Other people really recommend the Kruma Mojo, but I got this at a very good price. Preset banks. Two, one. Three one. Three four. It's a factory presets. Four one. As you can see, I'm not an organist. <laughs> Show you the back of the bike count. From left to right we have the power, we have the 12 volt DC, then we have the pedals control, we have the expression pedal and the rotary. The expression pedal is the volume pedal, the one that goes up and down. The rotary is the switch. We have the USB to host, we have the in one. This is this is normally where your upper keyboard goes and then your lower keyboard goes in into the MIDI, the out or the through, which is the one I connected my other module to. So you have right and left and phones and then pedals. And pedals is where you can connect the pedals to so that it goes directly to the to there. Okay, also you can see that it's beautifully made, it's made in Italy. This pedal here is connected to the expression, this pedal here is connected to the rotary. And I want to show you the Viscount Legend Expander software from the Viscount page. Okay, well this is the Viscount Legend. This, this software is used for the expander, for the single manual and for the double manual. You can see that we have it connected and we have it on the latest software. We can see that additional functions come up. We have the tone generator where you can change all this, the vibrator on chorus, we can change all this, the overdrive, with different models, the rotary, we can, we can change the horn and the drum characteristics, the horn speed, the rise and the fall speed, the same with the drum. We can do the classic and we can do the rock. We also have the reverb, the horn and spring, and we have additional features. We also have, as if you can see here, the Memphis style. You have the Memphis style, which you can turn off or on. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but with the Leslie speaker, you can turn either the horn or the drum off. I don't know which one it is, but you can turn one of those off. We connect and you can see as it connects, you lose these additional features. I don't know why, but it does that. Okay. We can see the main, we can see the drawbar levels as well, where you can adjust all those the decibels. We have the main, we have the vibrato and chorus. We have the overdrive. I so say you can change standard standard classic rock to different ones not to the crunch 
Also you have the rock one there, again you can change different ones. You have the rotary here, you have common, classic and rock, and you have the reverb. To be honest, I haven't changed any of these. It's so good, I know I should change them, but at the moment it's been really good and I haven't needed time. I need to do this. Tone wheel. Now, I actually updated with the tone wheel, you can add extra ones. Now you can add AL1, AL2, AL3. Now I actually changed some of these and I updated some of these. What you do with these ones, you don't copy and paste them, you actually store in a different place. And I have made a Viscount version Expander extra folder, so you, I would keep everything in the folder. Now what I'm gonna try and do now, I'm actually going to try to load in the ALT3. Now, I had this loaded in before, and for these purposes, I took it off. Now I'm gonna try to load this in again. Now sometimes, uh, you said ALT, AL3, empty tone wheel will be lost. Are you sure? Yes. And then you load it in. Now, at the moment, I don't know why it's not loading it in. Let's just see. Sometimes it, it, it disconnects. I don't know why. Now you can see, I don't know why, but it's done it. Okay. So I've got the BC3, I've got the B3, and I've got the A100. Okay. Hello again. Just to finish off, this is a wonderful product. As you can see, I really like it. I really recommend it. As I said before, you have different options, different models, different companies. This is obviously, you know by now, the Viscount Legends Expander. You have the Ferrofish 4000 also, slightly cheaper. And you have the Kruma Mojo, which is a little bit more expensive than this. Now, I was recommended this, and obviously I got it at a, a good price. It was being returned, I bought it, returned, and I'm very happy with it. I thought there was something, maybe something was wrong with it, but I've checked it. As far as I know, nothing is wrong with it, and it's okay. Some things I didn't go through, some things I have. I recommend this for people who have a, like a one-man band. You can't take lots of uh, heavy equipment. This is really light, it's really good. You can see, compared with a normal rack, this is my MU Proteus one, which I just had the board changed. This is my Blofeld. Again, I have different ones here, keyboards here, my other keyboard now at the church, and it, it sounds really good. I also really recommend this for church worship groups. You don't have the space or you don't have the money for a proper one or two manual organ, but you can buy a module and you can connect it up to MIDI keyboards or to your existing keyboards if they have the five pin MIDI. It sounds really good. It brings in sort of a classic organ sound. I have played it in the church and people really liked it. They said it sounded good. It just sounds really good. The, the Casio I had that I was demonstrating the other day has organ. It's good, but it's not the same. I had a Roland Farr with an organ. It's good, but it's not the same. I play this and people say it sounds good. I haven't played it a lot. I've, now and again I played it. I played it with my Waldorf Blofeld. You can see I like this ambient style music as well. Maybe I'll do another video with things. So I'd like you to also to make some uh, videos of this and really show how it is. If I can in the future I'll make some more videos maybe just showing you more of the music. Now you have seen how we can download different programs. So you can have six organs in here. You have the, as you know, the 30s, 50s and 70s and you have the ALT 1, 2 and 3 and you have various models which you can download and change which we, we saw we, we did but please Viscount if it's possible could you put some pipe organ sounds in there so that we can download pipe organ sounds or even some electric pianos it would be fantastic or, or mainly with the pipe organ where you can have different uh, instruments from the pipe organ on here it would be absolutely fantastic you imagine that you're a praise and worship group and you, you have the normal ones like the, the more we three and then maybe you have a wedding and you want to play wedding music with a pipe organ type sound that would be absolutely fantastic anyway thanks very much i am not an organist i'm not a professional organist i'm just a keyboard player um, normally i just play synth sounds or pads or things but i got this i really like it so please make some comments subscribe if you like make some comments if you want some suggestions you want me to try to make some things also i'm learning so i need to know about the drawbar settings and uh, thanks very much bye then